Okay, so we're back with more of the 9N. Um, so this is a 1939 or 1940 model, unlike I said earlier, thinking it was a 42. Now, the weird thing about this tractor, it's not that weird since all the parts are interchangeable, or most of them, is the rear axle says 2N, block says 9N, governor says 9N, so I'm not sure. Um, it might have been a 2N before, or it's a 9N. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know why they would have 2N axles on a 9N. I don't know if they're just using up stock somehow, but that's what it's got on there. Now, under the hood here, we got a 12-volt uh, battery. Now, this is still meant to have 6-volt. Uh, it's got the generator on there still. But it must have gotten cranked up by the previous owner because it's charging 12 volts. So I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, I took that gas cap over the wire wheel. And that gas is still okay in there. It's rusty, obviously, but um, so is everything else on here. I, uh, I took this off. And I took it over the wire wheel and I painted it. I probably shouldn't have, but I did. Because uh, I'm not sure what paint I want to use. I got some 8N gray over there with the antifreeze and carb cleaner and all that. So, basically when I was exercising this tractor, it stopped running right before I parked it. And when I was exercising it, I found the three-point does not work. There's several things that could be the matter with it. Um, it could just be the valve stuck. There's a bunch of things. The PTO works fine, which, you know, I would hope it would work fine. Uh, let me think. Three-point raises and lowers with the hand crank properly. Uh, I got a 9N, an original 9N, third uh, top link. I got to put the air pipe back on. But this is not running right now. And the reason for that is that when I was running it, it stopped running. No big deal. So I got it running again. Parked it in here. Next day, I was going to take it to a family get-together. Okay. It didn't start. The carburetor flooded. So we took off the air intake pipe. As you can see, it's not there. And gas spilled out onto the floor. We didn't think it was a big deal. The intake valve on, I think, the number four cylinder stuck open. And it backfired through the carburetor, caught the carburetor and the floor on fire. Um, so we had to put that out. Uh, no really big damage. I had to change the float and the main gasket, and I changed the throttle body as well. The uh, whole steering system has got a lot of play in it. It's got two starters on it, but I think only one of them works. Obviously throttle, three-speed, it's got the... Dog leg, I think, is what's called high low shifter. Kind of a pain sometimes, but it's good to have. You got your PTO here, brake locks, you got your clutch and your brakes. The brakes do not go back right. I think I'm going to have to take the wheels off, possibly take the fenders off, and clean everything up in the brake system. Probably replace some stuff. But uh, yeah, that's the update for now. I haven't worked on it in probably three months or so I would guess maybe a little longer so nothing really new all right okay.